mid-July, I get a phone call from um, Everett Leibold of Sound Image. And said, like, Kyle, look at the news. Your PA is all over the freeway. I said, you got to be kidding me. We had just finished rocking the Staples Center, three shows at the Staples Center. Amazing. Then, after <laughs> I look at all the news clippings and my phone is going off the chain, I get the opportunity to do a true shootout on PAs, which in my professional career has never happened on the same tour. You know, normally you've done a little, you know, in an arena, whatever, you may shoot out PAs, but to have a true shootout concert environment with a true show is has never happened. And when I say true shootout is, I, we've been on tour for, you know, five weeks with the AL-12. It's on the 10 freeway. I'm told that I have to go back to my Adamson PA. We do the, the load in, PA's in, do our normal, our normal setup. Only thing different is the PA. When I push the fader up, I'm looking like something's wrong. I, I said, what's wrong with the PA? It sounds distant. So I'm thinking maybe it's the side hang that's too high, which would give you that distant feel of the PA because it's kind of washing it out or give me that wraparound sensation of hearing the music coming from the sides as opposed to hitting you from the front. So I make sure the side hangs are off. Side hang is off, but just pushing up the fader, the vocal just felt like they were in another room. That's different because I've never heard it sound like this before. I'm like, maybe I'm just partial to the new technology in the view. Truly, Mike Adams was on something when he created the, the AL-12 and the HS-221 subs, 1080p to 4K. And that's all I can say in regards to the, the comparison of actually true sh having a true shootout within the same tour on, on two different PAs.